click on the game to start. To activate players, click Active Players on the right. Then click beside the player's name. A green tick represents an active player. Once the players are active, click Confirm. Then confirm numbers are correct. To change a player's number, click Change. Delete the number and then type the new number. Click Confirm. Next, confirm coaches. There is also an option to manually add coaches. To add a new player to a team, click Add Player, then Enter Details Manually. Before you start the game, you must enter the game code and confirm player details are correct. Confirm. Confirm. Confirm again. To start the game, click Run Clock. To pause the game, click Stop Clock. To start the game again, click Run Clock. To add a two-point field goal, click the scoring player's name and plus two. To add a three-point field goal, click the scoring player's name and plus three. To add a free throw, click the scoring player's name and then plus one. To add a foul, click the offending player's name, then click foul. To add an unsportsmanlike foul, click on the offending player's name and click unsportsmanlike foul. To add a technical foul, click on the offending player's name and click technical foul. To add a disqualifying foul, click on the offending player's name and then click disqualifying foul. Notice a line will appear through the offending player's name. At any time, if you make a mistake, click undo last. To record a timeout, Click the timeout icon above the team who called the timeout. At half time, you must re enter the game code, then click confirm. Confirm players are correct, and click run clock to start the second half. To run the clock down, click stop clock, then click the digital clock display. You can run the clock down by using minutes seconds or fractions of seconds. Click confirm. To end the game, click end game. After the match is over, you have the option to update the scores. Once happy with the scores, click confirm game and add in the game code.